right, continuing with the geometry that we uh, created on that last part, uh, or this part actually, um, I'm going to kind of jump a little bit and make a solid model of this. All right, so going back to the XY plane, um, I'm going to open my solid modeling palette. I'm not going to get heavily into solids, but just a couple of little basic things here. Um, so on the, the solid modeling palette, uh, this is the top level palette, and our options here are create a solid, which gives us our tools for creating a solid from nothing or from geometry. Uh, our advanced modeling, which gives us tools for modifying and, and, and uh, changing a, a model, an existing model. Uh, slice, which will take the model and slice it along the coordinate system plane. Or if you uh, create a surface, so it could be a, uh, a more complex parting line, if you will. Uh, and you can slice a model along that. You have two options here for replace and swap. Uh, this has to do with manipulating the history tree, uh, which we won't get into today and may not get into at all. Uh, uh, it's a fairly high level uh, capability. Then we have our Boolean functions, union or addition, subtraction, and intersection. And then we have separate, which it separates a um, uh, what's called a multi-lump body. Uh, just to demonstrate that real briefly, I'm going to uh, turn my geom I just turned the geometry off here, so I'm not looking at it. I'm going to go to create a solid. I'm going to create a sphere at the origin with a half-inch radius. So it's going to be a one-inch diameter sphere. And there's the sphere. All right. Now I'm going to take that sphere. And I'm going to go to Modify, Duplicate, and Translate. Uh, I'm going to translate it an inch and a quarter in the x-axis, and eight times is fine. That will give me nine total spheres. Except that if I turn Face Selection off, right now Face Selection is on, so when I click, only one face highlights. If I turn Face Selection off, the entire solid highlights, and we see that that is all one solid, even though there's no point of contact between the individual what's called lumps. Um, so what uh, Separate does is it allows us to take this multi-lump body and separate those into individual models. All right now these are individual models, so I could take those two and, and toss them if I wanted to. And then if I wanted these to all be one, I could select them all again and add them together, and I'm back to a multi lump body. Um, so, actually I should have just left those together. Uh, let me select them and toss them. So those are the choices on the top level palette. Under create a solid, we can create a sphere, uh, as I just did, or a cuboid extrude a geometric shape, we can revolve a geometric shape, we can loft multiple geometric shapes into a body, we can sweep uh, a geometric shape or multiple ge geometric shapes along a geometric path, um, and we can solidify surfaces into a solid. Under the advanced modeling, we can offset a face, add or remove material from a face, uh, we can create a shell, we can shell out a solid. Uh, we can do blending, which is fillet radiuses, variable blend fillets, and chamfers on corners. Uh, we can unstitch, uh, which is basically defeaturing, removing holes, fillets, chamfers, uh, bosses, you know, cavities, whatever, uh, from a model. And we can apply draft to, uh, to sides or to faces. All right, so those are the, the basic solid modeling tools. So what I'm going to do is uh, I want to create a cube uh, so that, that matches this. So I'm going to go to create a cuboid. I, I went to create a solid, and then the second button on the create a solid palette is create a cuboid. And then uh, let me zero these out. Uh, there's a button here for stock dimension. It's important to understand that all that does is pull the values off of this page. Okay, 
it does not take into account what coordinate system is active. So if I'm on the top coordinate system and I hit that and I say do it, it does it. The numbers are correct, but notice they're built around that origin, that coordinate system origin. So just a rule of thumb, if you're going to use the cuboid function to create a piece of stock that matches your stock or, or solid that matches your, your stock cube, uh, be in the XY plane, hit stock dimension and do it and you'll have a, a cube that matches your stock. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do some extrusions. I'm going to turn my geometry back on. I'm going to go to my top coordinate system. I'm going to, I'm going to select that geometry. I'm going to extrude that. These numbers are always relative to wherever the geometry is at. Now all this geometry is sitting on zero in the depth axis for the coordinate system that it's in, so it really doesn't matter. But if you have geometry at some other depth, these numbers will be incremental to the Z level or the depth level that that geometry is sitting at. So I'm going to come a quarter, uh, I'm going to exaggerate that, I'm going to come one inch up and a quarter of an inch down. Uh, the one inch up gives me a handle where it's easy to click on this thing and select it. The quarter inch down is going to be the, the cavity that I'm going to create in this block. Uh, so there's a quarter inch of interference between them, if you will. So I'm going to go to the front side. I'm going to do the exact same thing to this. I'm going to go to the right side, do the exact same thing to that. I'm going to go to the back side and here I've got to select both the outside and the hole and that will create a, a void in here. I have to select the outside first. If I select the inside first and then the outside and I try to extrude it, I'm going to get a message that says, well actually no it worked. They have changed something since the last version. Um, try that again make sure I didn't screw up. No, they made that a little bit smarter. Uh, in the previous version, if you selected the hole first, it tried to extrude this with a hole this size, which produced nothing. Um, all right, so it's good to know. I will extrude that, and I will extrude the bottom, and I'm just deliberately, well, I was going to deliberately select them in the wrong order, but I missed and selected them in the right order. Alright, so having those, I can now select my block, and each of these, I have to select the block first, that makes it my primary body, and anything else I select is secondary, and the secondary bodies will be subtracted from the primary body, so each of these shapes will be, uh, there'll be a void a quarter of an inch into the face for each of these, because each of these extends a quarter of an inch into that face of the block, and do a subtraction, Turn our geometry off and you can see we've got a solid model of our block. All right now I'm going to put that in the body bag and uh, click off of it. Uh, I just double clicked it, sorry I didn't, I didn't mention that. Double click a solid, it goes in the body bag, double click in the body bag, it comes back out on the screen. Or you can right click on it and say bag it, and right click on it here and say unbag it. The body bag is just a place to store bodies when you don't need them on the screen. Because uh, a lot of times I'll have stock bodies, I'll have a, I may have my finished part model, I may have two or more process models, uh, I may have a stock model, uh, I may have models of clamps and fixturing and things like that that I don't need on the screen all the time, uh, but I need them, so I just put them in the body bag. Alright, so uh, now I'm going to basically do that again. Uh, I'm going to go to the XY plane, I'm going to create a cube, the numbers are already set, I'm just going to do it, and now I'm going to extrude my numbers, but now I'm going to go from a quarter of an inch up to a quarter of an inch down. Now I'll tell you what, let's make this, let's make this where the, out, the top of the letters is going to be the same size as this. So uh, I'm actually going to throw this block away. If we want to stick up a quarter of an inch, then we're going to take a quarter of an inch off each of these numbers. So it's going to be 1.75 minus 1.75, 1.75 minus 1.75, 1.75, and minus 1.75. So I want to make a, a, a three and a, and be in the right coordinate system, David.
All right, so this is a quarter of an inch per side smaller. So what I'm going to do now is remember that the geometry now is where I want the top of the extrusion to be. So I'm going to extrude it from zero to minus a half inch. I just want to get it down into the block a little bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. And I'm just going to do that on each of these shapes. And the geometry needs to be blue, which tells me that it's aligned to the coordinate system that I'm doing it in. And here we will do uh, backside that and that. Left side that. And the bottom side that and that. Alright. And then I'm going to turn my geometry off and I'm going to close this. I'm just going to select everything and add it all together. I closed the body bag so that it would select that. If the body bag's open, it can be selected. All right, so now I've got, you know, essentially, well, they're not truly a male and female, but I've got one that the numbers are protruding and one that the numbers are recessed. All right, so see if you can take what you've got. You can go ahead and close your tool path and your tools and everything, and, uh, Play around with the solid model and stuff just a little bit.